YouTube, what's up? Back again for another fishing tip here on Andrew Upshaw Fishing. Today's tip is gonna center around five things that you need either in or on your bass boat to make you more efficient on the water and make it a little safer. These are underappreciated and undervalued items that you definitely need to consider on your boat or in your boat the next time you're on the water. Just finished rigging up for day one of the bass open here at Pickwick. I'm a little nervous, actually, extremely nervous you, you know and i don't know if y'all have ever had this happen to you but i'm sitting here rigging tackle and I'm, I'm looking for some baits and i'm pretty good about keeping a ton of crap in my boat and in my truck well one bait in particular that i was looking for i can't mention it right now because i don't know maybe a competitor or two are watching but i was looking for said bait i was looking for said bait and said color well i had every single color except the color I needed. So there's that. So we're gonna jump right in. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And you know, I got a challenge for you guys. Can we, and I don't know if we can, I really, I honestly, I don't know if we can, but can we hit 1,000 likes on this video? If you're watching this, hit the like button. I, I implore you to hit the like button. If we hit 1,000 likes on this video, I might do a giveaway. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, I might give away something big i might give away something small but check it out like the video comment below what you want to see next maybe a new idea I, I love ideas when it comes to this channel uh i really like bringing you the best content that i can so without further ado let's jump right on in to this daily fishing tip The first thing we're gonna talk about, guys, is one of the most underappreciated items on our bass boats. And not everybody has one, and I and I honestly, I don't know why. I mean, I know they cost a little bit of money, but the amount of money that we all spend on tackle and tournaments and gas and everything else like that, I'm shocked, to this day, shocked that people don't have this item on their bass boat. And that's a MegaWare kill guard. You know, it's kind of hard to see right here, but it's right here, it's black. It kind of blends in. It was supposed to be a green one on my boat, but, um, we, we put the wrong one on. But a, a kill guard, what it does is it's it's basically a kill protector. So when you pull up to the bank, and I'm saying like rocks, gravel, sand even, that thing, it's, it's made of really high density rubber. And I mean, it's gonna protect the bottom of your boat where it V's down better than anything out there. And there's no doubt about it. I still see to this day guys that don't have one. And when they pull up to the, the bank and there's rocks, I just cringe because I, I that sound that you know it's like nails on a chalkboard but it's a boat that costs 50 60 70 thousand dollars and they're not protecting it in a simple way they're not very expensive i'll drop the link below where you can find them but the kill guard is probably one of the most undervalued items on my bass boat and it's most used because i literally beach my boat everywhere i go and i never have to worry about it any day that i go out there so that's number one of the most undervalued underappreciated items on our bass boats so when it comes to my bass boat, I always keep a good selection of tools. And I'm not just talking about wrenches and things like that. I always keep the necessary tools to unhook fish, to cut uh, hooks. I mean, to literally do anything and everything. Scissors, split ring pliers, the whole nine. And this is a list of things that I have. I have a good pair of scissors here. I've got some snips that a coin are left in my boat. These are really good for ho cutting hooks, uh, cutting really big rope, split ring pliers. I've got one set of regular needle nose and then I've got a pair of, um, of snips and uh, needle nose that are a lose makes. And they actually have a braid cutter on the side that I use literally all the time. I always like to keep at least two pair of needle nose in my boat. You have a deep hook fish. You want to be able to get that hook out quickly and easily and get that fish back in the water. So guys, make sure you have enough tools in your boat and the right tools. I mean, I, I keep a good selection and I have backups in the truck because you never know. I've had co-anglers, I've myself just accidentally thrown a pair of pliers over the side and not even think about it and just doop, just like that. So keep a good set of tools in your boat. I don't, I'm not gonna tell you what brand to use. I just go to Academy and get whichever ones I feel like I need at the time and just get them in surplus. So that's tip number two of things you either need in your boat or on your boat to make you more successful. All right, number three on the list. And you know, I'm trying to keep this uh, things that maybe you're not always thinking about, but you definitely need to have in your boat at all times. 
one of those is super glue a good bottle of super glue this is the i use loctite it's the one i've always used i use the gel though and i think that's important uh it doesn't make near as much a mess you know you can i, I hate to say this but i've hooked myself more times than i can count i've cut myself uh in just weird situations and you can actually super glue those little cuts back together uh, another thing that I always have is plastic surgery. This is like a, a mend it basically. So if you're running low on plastics like I am, I only have a handful of what I need, I can actually glue those back together. So in this situation, like I'm not too terribly concerned because I can actually mend those, those plastics back together. So those are a couple things that you need. That's number three on the list of five. So make sure you stay tuned for the rest. So number four on the list is something that I think we, it's kind of funny, but we all kind of need in our boat. You know, notoriously, fishermen kind of fib a little bit about the size of their fish. I've been known to do it from time to time as well. I can't tell you how many times I swung a fishing boat and said, man, that's definitely a three-pounder, threw it back, and never checked up whatsoever. But one thing that I've learned to do, and I, and I think it helps me in practice and it helps me in events, is a good scale. Uh, this is the one I use. It's just a Rapala scale. Jacob Wheeler got me hooked on this thing a long time ago, and I just can't live without it. So when you're in practice, in a certain situation like Pickwick, for instance, I've been weighing quite a few of the fish that I've been catching because, honestly, these fish are weighing a little lighter than they look. I mean, today my coin lure caught a 4-pound, 6-ounce, um, or actually it was a 4.62, so it was over a 4.5-pound uh, smallmouth, and it looked like a 5-pounder. I mean, legitimately looked like a 5-pounder. So I'm not going to sit there and say, man, that's a 5 and overestimate what kind of weight that I can have. So when I get in an event, I can say, okay, I, I have exactly 11.7 pounds. I know I need to co catch more. This scale is gonna help me do that every single time. So that's tip number four of a few things that you need in or on your bass boat. All right, guys, so we're at tip number five of things you need either in or on your bass boat. And this is one that doesn't need a whole lot of explaining, but I need to be better at it as well. And that's putting on sunscreen i don't know if uh, the brand matters this is what i use it's just 70 spf it's really strong but it keeps you from getting burnt you know if you're a guy like me or girl and you like to fish all the time you know the more you're outdoors the more chance you have to get skin cancer and it's a very serious thing and i need to be better at it i mean if you look at my my arms right here, I mean, you can see a, a distinct tan line between my arm and my hand. So I need to probably start putting more sunscreen on my hand. Put on your nose, put on your ears, high contact areas. Always, always, always keep it in your boat and put it on. Please, please put it on. I don't want to, to get a message of somebody that got skin cancer. So this is a good PSA of please put your sunscreen on and do it in the morning. Like just before you get busy, before you get in the you know doing all kinds of stuff put it on and then you don't have to worry about the rest of the day so that's your five things that i feel like you either need in or on your bass boat i hope you've enjoyed these daily tips it's been a lot of work but it's definitely paying off i love getting the feedback that i get i try to get to y'all's comments i'm struggling a bit on that i mean i'm a one-man show i don't have any help with this this is me and only me so i'm shooting editing and answering all the comments so Thank you all for liking my videos, watching my videos. That means more than you could ever know. And I hope you all like the next video.